I think I may have just found the ultimate live streaming unlimited recording, great audio, and no matter what I'm doing and throwing at it, it can probably take a beating kit for entrepreneurs and content creators alike, and it fits in this small case. I'm gonna be diving into what all I put in here for a trip so I could do literally all of those things and a few more. One of the most important things when it comes to traveling is going to be battery life. I did not wanna to have to think twice about what I was gonna be using and that was going to be this Sony little adapter here that I can charge via USB or you can plug it into the wall and that means I only need one other battery. So if I'm using this one and it gets completely depleted, I swap it out and I'm charging as I'm using. Plus I'm usually carrying that next bit of kit which is going to be my actual battery bank. For me, this is perfect. This one specifically is 4,400 milliamps when it has like these little LED lights on there so I can see how much is being used versus how much I still have left. And I love these little stick chargers or the ones that are kind of like, look like a tube of lipstick or chapstick. Uh, and these are perfect. And just enough to charge a battery completely a couple times if I need to, or even top off my phone. So that's what I'm doing for battery life. But I have one other thing too. So if I'm thinking about live streaming or if I'm doing longer form content or you're trying to record or talk, then I want to go ahead and hook up a actual wired option so I have unlimited battery power. Now, yes, you can charge internally to the Sony ZV-1, so technically I could just hook the battery bank and just kind of strap it to the tripod or what have you or put it on the top of the hot shoe. But if I didn't want to do that, then I can just plug this into the wall if I'm near one or I can just, you know, use this. So obviously recording a lot of content means memory card and storage. For me, I'm using the SanDisk Extreme cards, the 256 gigabytes, which if I'm recording in 1080p, then that will get me about nine hours and a little bit, little bit half of that, maybe a little bit more if you're going to do 4K. Speaking to that point, I have my Samsung T5s. They now have the T7s that are out there, and this is one terabyte. Now, those take the USB-C type option, and so that works for transferring that data faster so I'm not wasting time, especially when you consider how much footage that you're moving around. I don't want it to be slow, so I do make sure I include the actual cable that came with those, but those also serve a dual purpose for my next bit of kit. So when I had to think about microphones, I like to stay lean and mean, but also multi-purpose. So right now I'm using the Ceramonic microphone that I've talked about again in the accessories kit, and that works super well for stuff like this or just on the go. It's powered by the camera, so it doesn't need anything extra. But if I did need something a little bit different, then I have my Comica Boom XD set. I know there's the Rode Wireless Go 2 that just came out, and I can't wait to get my hands on those and test those out and compare the two. But even still, with looking at what they offer, I probably would still add these to the kit just because of this solo feature of having a headphone jack on these. It really would suck if you're getting ready to record a talk that you're doing out of town only to find out that you're getting audio noises because the cable wasn't plugged in all the way or something like that. Plus, you know, I can go ahead and clip on, like obviously this collar is too too high, but imagine that you have on a different kind of a shirt or jacket, but you could clip it on here or I could zip this down and clip it there where it's a little bit more normal. So it has the built-in microphone options on there. So that's helpful, or you can hold it like this, kind of like news anchor-ish style. But that also leads into the next bit of kit the included lapel microphone. And I've used these quite a bit and I'm very, very pleased with how well they perform. So you can do that or you can include the little wind furry on here if it was kind of windy like it was today here in San Diego, then you can kind of use this may feel a little weird, but if you're trying to get the best audio from afar, or maybe you're at a convention, and you kind of just want to ask the person their opinion or something, a quick testimonial, whatever, you can, you know, do this kind of thing. So this kind of works when you think about it. And so these charge via USB-C, and so instead of including another cable, I can use my SanDisk SSD cable, and this will charge this also. Fits right in, no problem, and we're good to go. Now the next kit is a little bit extra, but I think it's necessary, but it's this little um, LED light kit here. And so just playing around with the environment, knowing that gray colors tend to absorb light and it can kind of adjust for that a little bit better. But even still, any hotel room, they do a pretty good jo job designing them. So I have this just out the shot over here. 
standing on the desk, right? And so you can see how it's bouncing and reflecting off the light and just kind of gives a nice little, little extra something to it so that the video has a little bit more spunk to it. So this next bit of kit might be cheating a little bit because it doesn't fit in the kit. Let's say if maybe you swapped out the light for a different brand or model that may be a little bit smaller, then you know that could work. But it fits in there, but I just didn't put it in there. And that's the ZV-1's wide angle uh, adapter lens that is by Ulanzi. Looking at this, it takes an image like this. So you can see here, just like what you can see as far as the corners. And if you wanted a wider angle, you. I'm already up against the wall, so I probably can't push the camera back too much further. So if I just put this over top, you can get an idea of how much wider it would be versus how close that is now. I just enjoy seeing the actual closeness that something is in proximity to me when I'm out and about. And then I think there are those environments where you want to see more of what's around you. So this just gives you more options. What's interesting is that this has threads on it. In addition to the little piece that goes on top of the camera has threads on it. Now enter my last piece or second to last piece. I got one more thing. That means I'm now able to put in here an ND filter and this is a 58 millimeter focal length. So even if you wanted to put it on this wide angle adapter lens thing here, if you wanted to give just the ZV-1 lens a little bit more of a boost past the included ND filter already built into the camera. So the very last thing that is in here before I have completely emptied this bag, is just this little Ziploc baggie here that includes two little pieces, which I guess depending on what you might come up with for other things that you need. But I could see, you know, throwing in a couple of those since they're super slender would be something I would put in here. The 3M paper that comes with those to pay tape. No, not because there's any shortage of hair, but simply because I may want to put this under uh, my shirt. And this is very, very great for very sensitive skin. So if you have very sensitive skin, this is perfect. I'm one of those people, so trust me. So with everything packed in snugly, you still even like for this particular one have the molly on the back so you can clip that onto your bag or something there about. But this works out pretty, pretty good. In addition to like, I still would have to put the camera someplace this is just for all the accessories bit so i still have a little pouch here so that's why i said it's a little bit cheating with the wide angle ad adapter lens thing because i just kind of put that here and that takes up space over in this other case versus over in this one so the ssd is another thing that i probably wouldn't put in here just because i would be using it more often but if i replace the sandisk ssd with this samsung one and swap them out i probably have a little bit more space but this works. You can throw in some other stuff that you need to, but I'm curious if you had something about this size, about the size of my hand, not that much bigger, what would you put in here? Let me know. That music, it gets me on my feet, makes me want to dance.